about asking an individual or you know some sort of for-profit entity for money. So Cannabis, uh, which is an amazing program that Sundance does, I usually describe it to people as like Shark Tank for filmmakers. I don't know if that's a good description, but it's yeah. essentially what happens is if you get selected for Catalyst, they pick about 13 films, uh, half are scripted, half are um, documentary. Uh, 13 or 14, is 14. And um, you essentially have to give a 15 minute TED Talk style presentation, which um, Sundance helps you rehearse over and over and over to get it just right. And you do it for a room full of investors. And then the next day, uh, investors sign up for meetings with you, and you have 20 minutes e dating style meetings with investors. And um, part of the process of getting ready for the program is that they help you figure out well, what are you going to offer for what money? What are the rules? People have to know like, if they're going to invest a certain amount of money, what are they getting back? What are they, what's the return on that? What are you promising them? And um, thankfully, I was going to Catalyst with executive producers who had done this many times and who knew what they were doing and um, kind of taught me the process of how to go about it. And you know, to be perfectly honest, you know, I don't know if um, if I had applied for Cat, my if, uh, 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 myself and my co-director had applied for Catalyst without those executive producers who had that experience and had that reputation. They had made an Oscar-nominated feature. They had uh, done a bunch of documentaries that people have heard of. If if we hadn't had those people attached to our team, I don't know that we would have gotten into Catalyst. But regardless, I know it certainly made an impact on the investors and what they thought of the project. Because an investor is looking at you and they're thinking, what's, what's the return? You know, I, I want a safe investment. So they want to know that you're going to be able to finish the thing. They want to know that it's going to be good. They want to know that probably people are going to see it. And a lot of them want to be able to brag that they like did some cool movie that like a lot of people are talking about. They want to go to the cool party. You know, I mean, honestly, this all factors in. You know, um, and then for some of them, they want to get their they want to get money back and a return. So they need to know that you're a safe bet on that. And if you're a first time filmmaker, that's very hard to prove. Even if you've done shorts, if you've done other things that have gotten acclaim. Um, so you know, we have to find. You know, it definitely. It was definitely part of the consideration in choosing this executive producing team that they had had this experience. They had contacts that uh, myself and my co-director did not have. That was a big factor. I mean, we had people we knew in different foundations and different things, whatever, but we realized that their contacts were above and beyond that, and they had a skill set that we didn't have, which was primarily around, around equity. So, um, you know, one of the things, one of the things that was really eye-opening for me was that you know we go to this kind of magical place where there's all of these people who are just there to talk about giving you money for your film, which is not something I've ever experienced before, and not now I've never in circles where like people could do that. And you know, we to talk real dollars, we were probably offered about a million dollars in one day, um, which is crazy. And I was like, oh my god, this is insane. We're gonna and they, 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 the executive was like, you know, you don't, we're not going to be able to get all that. And, and of course, because you, you start to realize that different people are offering you the money, but they want the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so if you're going to take so-and-so's money, you can't take this other person's money because there's a competing interest. And so you're going to have to pick, okay, well then, who's, who's the person whose money I want to go with? Do I want to go with the person who's offering the, me the most money? Or do I want to go with the person who I kind of liked their vibe the best in the meeting? And thankfully, you know, having executive producers there, who knew some of these people very well, you know, we've got a little bit of kind of backstory and understanding of who they are. Um, so kind of all of this goes into account when you're trying to figure out what money you're gonna take and what money you're not gonna take, but it's gonna be a decision. And then you know that once you once you take once you take someone's money, that you know, once you work out the terms of that deal, that they are they're locked into you and you're get this is the beginning of a relationship. And hopefully it's a good relationship, and you're going to engage them, and you're going to keep them going, and they're going to become part of your family. But it is it is a job to keep engaging them as you go, and to keep updating them to make them feel included, which they should be because they're your investors. Um, but it is but someone's got to do that job, and that's you know more time that you're not making the film, so you have to figure out how to do that. And um, there, it's a lot to kind of take into consideration. And and you know there are there are some people who believe it or not, I was just I was so delighted to see that there are people in the world who will give you money and expect nothing in return. I've met these people, I can't believe they exist, I didn't think they were real, but it's just a hopeful sign, I just want you to know that they were there, and we met some of them, and they gave us money, and they said, eh, it's cool, take it, you know. Uh, I'm a billionaire, whatever, it's cool, you know, and so it's, 
if wonderful to know that they exist, um, but then there's, you know, but they're not going to, probably not going to come along and give you everything. And so you're also going to have, you know, if, if you're going along this route, um, there's also these, these different concerns that you have to figure out what's best for your project. And, and let me 